How's it going, YouTube? It's me again, Phantom Eagle, and I'm back with you guys with another cigar review. Today we're going to be reviewing a uh, Vica Libre 1990. I got this from my uh, my uh, cigar unboxing video. This is from the five pack I got for free that I got from the uh, scratch off card when I bought my humidor and uh, never tried these before they're in the uh, rectangle shape one of my favorite cigar shapes because uh, I think these just fit perfectly in, in, uh, on my lip so take out the package real quick this is what she looks like Good smell. Right, so it's uh, get this thing cut real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to get a uh, new puncher. I just uh, keep on forgetting one. See, another filler. Alright, got my cutter right here. Cut the scar like that. Cut it just right. Hmm. That's good, there's like no draw to this. So, uh, get the, uh, the matches. Uh, Alright, my matches. Don't tell me. Where are they? Oh, please don't tell me I forgot them. I left them in my cart, son of a bitch. Oh, guys, that sucks. Yeah, they're yeah, they're in my car, guys. I need to pause the video real quick. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, sorry about that, guys. Now I got my matches right here. So we get my scar out real quick. Put put it in my mouth, and then we light it up. Oh, close. Yeah. Okay, now we light up. Mm hmm. Burnt the, uh, burnt inside my nail a bit, but that's okay. Now we light it up. Always put out your discarded matches. If you're, if you guys are wondering where I am right now, I'm at a uh, Horseshoe Lake Park in Woodland, Washington. You guys are probably be saying, uh, "Geez, Phantom, is it is it kind of uh, stupid just to uh, dox your whole town and?" Uh, My answer to that is not really because you don't know where I live in town. I probably don't even live in Woodland anymore. And I probably don't even live in this area.
So, uh, you guys are not going to know where I live or even find me. If you guys try to chase me down, I'll uh, stop you. actually a pretty uh, smooth cigar. Yeah, like, look at that. Hmm. It has no draw to it. It has a, a mild taste. A, uh, uh, the bitterness and the blend. Kind of between the middle of uh, uh, low to uh, medium. Like it's uh, not really medium, but not really a low either. And it's uh, got a good taste to it too, guys. Ooh. Has a <coughs> good smell to it. Smooth. A nice aroma to it. I'd say the uh, the Nica Libre would be a pretty good uh, cigar for beginners, guys. Like if you're like new to cigars and you you don't know what you want to try yet, one of the one of the beginning cigars that I recommend is the. Uh, the Nica Libre. And I also want to recommend my very first cigar that I ever had down over in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada for my 21st birthday. My very first cigar that I've ever had was uh, my, my Diamond Crown. It was a cigar about like, uh, like, about like this big. But it was like a little fatter than uh, this this guy right here, and uh, it wasn't uh, too hard, too bitter, too strong. Like it was just right, perfect for cigar beginners like myself at the time. And I still have that same tag, and I still have the same matchbox from from where I got in Las Vegas. It was a cigar store that I uh, that I uh, can't remember right now, but it, but it was a cigar shop that you could smoke indoors inside uh, Caesar's Palace, inside the mall area. They had this uh, had a bar. You can you can drink some whiskey and some other stuff to go with your cigar. And uh, I saw a lot of men out men like me uh, smoking the cigars like inside the shop and kind of like outside the shop like right next to the, uh, the air vents and when you go and walk into uh, the cigar shop they actually get, got a, uh, a a giant ha a giant humidi humidor room that you could walk in and it had like a whole selection of cigars I'd say it's uh, like the size of like someone like a big garage, like a a two car garage from at least what I've seen. Like like the room is just like packed full of like different cigars, like different brands, different blends, different flavors, different aromas, different everything. It was it was heaven. Unfortunately, though, I uh, I didn't get to smoke it while I was in inside the cigar shop because I was uh, running a little busy. Me and my friends had a lot of uh, plans, so I had to smoke my cigar later. And when I like put up to my lips like this, and lit that that nice little cigar. I had a taste that I've never had before, and I loved it. 
and that's when I uh, started loving cigars. Like, there's multiple things that I love in this world. Like, I love my family, my friends, my country, and uh, myself. And one of the things that I love, one of the top 10 things I love, are my cigars. Because I love cigars. You got a nice taste to it. Nice blend, nice aroma, depending on on what you got or what you buy. Like, I've, I've smoked a lot of cigars. Some cheap, some expensive. They were all, vast, vast majority of them I smoked were pretty good. But uh, enough about that. Maybe I could tell you guys more in a separate video if you guys want. Tell you the story of like how I smoked my first cigar. And who knows, maybe I'll day do a video in the future where I go back down to Las Vegas and revisit that same cigar shop while buying my first ever cigar that I've ever had. If you guys are interested in that probably film it anyway but uh, enough about that so uh, how is the Nico Libre 1990 well um, I say it's a pretty good cigar I, I recommend this for for beginners like I said before and I'd give this uh, this nice little cigar, the Nico Libre, a good, uh, eight point ten out of a ten, because it's a pretty good cigar. Has a nice taste to it, a nice blend, and a nice aroma to it. And also, if uh, if you guys just want to like have like a light cigar, like nothing too mild, nothing nothing too strong. If you just want like a, a light, simple cigar, uh, I'd go for the Nico Libre as uh, one of your uh, different choices because. Uh, like, we all buy a bunch of different other cigars. Like, I got different brands. I got, like, Gurkha. I got this Nico Libre. I got, um, some, uh, uh, Perdomos, CAOs. What else do I got? I got some Maduros. And that's all the cigar brands I can remember as of right now. And so, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. If uh, there's any criticism, uh, please be respectful. Because, uh, like, uh, because, uh, because just, just being rude, uh, just being an asshole is not good. Not good at all. But, uh, yet again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching me again. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.